Hello, welcome back to Meta Perfume. I'm Emily here again with Twixie and Felix. Twixie and Felix. And today I'm gonna keep um, going on my Pacifica reviews. Recently, got notified that uh, they released five new perfumes. Pacifica did so while I purchased everything they had on their site. At that point, now there are five more. <laughs> so I think I have to pick those up. Anyway, Moon Ray Bloom today, and I spent a couple weeks hanging out with this perfume. Um, let's talk about it. So Moon Ray Bloom is a floral citrus perfume, apparently. Put the notes up here, very ambiguous notes. No specifics on the citruses or florals. Um, and I'm gonna say, while this perfume isn't bad, I would say you get what you pay for. While there are a lot of Pacifica perfumes that I think are a really good value and smell and perform a lot better than the price point of $22 per ounce, um, that is the, the main size they carry, this one I think is like a $22 per ounce perfume. It lasts on me between an hour and a half and two and a half hours um, with a generous application. So the, the longevity is fairly poor. Um, but the scent itself is pretty pleasant. Um, at first I was like, oh, this is just a, like a nice light floral. And when I was reading reviews on Fragrantica, people would say it was like gardenia and jasmine that they could pick out. I guess my nose isn't that sensitive to really know for sure that that's when I'm smelling, but I could see it, I guess. So might be smelling like gardenia and jasmine. And then the citruses are a pretty um, small component, but I think, and you know, when you smell something and then you can't unsmell it, like I think the second time I put this on, first time I was like, oh, flowers, floral light, nice. Um, kind of like sp springy, summery maybe, uh, daytime maybe, maybe, you know, afternoon. Uh, but then, I put it on again and it smelled like sweet tarts candy and now it just smells like sweet tarts sweet tarts put a picture up here <laughs> yeah so this is not a bad perfume it's nice it smells like my sweet not super sweet but like a mildly sweet kind of light pleasant floral and only lasts about an hour and a half to two and a half hours so yeah I think with Moonray Bloom you basically get what you pay for. Um, whereas with like uh, these perfumes that I showed, the uh, uh, Lilac, their uh, Rose, Persian Rose, and their Enchanted Woods, um, I think those are really good values. So if you like like light florals and you know, you're looking for something, maybe you find it at Target and you pick this up if you like it, but you, you know, don't expect a huge performance or a huge sillage. The sillage is kind of moderate to, to close in, um, but it's pleasant. You know, people enjoy it. There were actually more positive reviews on Fragrant again than I imagined, given the longevity um, and the sort of like ambiguity of the the scents in there. But um, you know, if you if you enjoy it, you might get into it. Just know kind of what to expect with that. So yeah, that's Moon Ray Room. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye-bye. Oh, please subscribe or like or activate the notification bell if you haven't done that. Thank you. Bye-bye.